as you probably worked out, we're changing the brakes yeah. from the Avant to the Saloon. New brakes, replacing old brakes, yeah. yeah. So the discs and pads are coming off the Avant and they're going on here, but we're sticking with the yellow calipers and they're staying on this car, yeah. So this is the Avant that we picked up, £5,000, crash damaged. It was £5,000, was it? It was five it grand, was five bang grand, on. Yeah. So obviously it's got loads of issues. The wing's hanging off. Well, there's no wing on it because we took it off last week. The wheel's absolutely destroyed. All the underside, it's knackered. Well, it definitely needs a new track, but then maybe a steering rack as well. And then the bottom arms, there's one that's like really banana and bent. That needs changing. So these, this had spaces on, mm -hmm. but I was wondering if... I know what you're going to say. Do you reckon they'd fit on yeah. our car? These discs are absolutely knackered. And the problem with these is, when dirt gets in the holes, it drags it out and actually scores the disc. So you can see the lines there. That's what's happening with that. Yeah. Now, the front discs, they're bad because they've got a ridge there, yeah. which is not great. The backs are even worse. That feels like about two millimeters of actual, the disc has grooved in like that. So they are definitely, they don't even work. You probably like, I'm surprised the handbrake's actually doing its job with that. It's been sat outside for ages, that car. Yeah. The discs have got all the rust build up on the surface. So yeah. Patrick is cleaning them up. Patty, uh, you can see him, or you can probably hear him with his wizard. He's right there. Over there. And he said, and he's taken a line out of our bucket, it'll be like a brand new half. Is that what he said? He said that, yeah. Come on, Pat, lad. So these are the Avant calipers, and you can see there, that's where the wheel, well, it had the impact. And Blew then Blew yeah. an hole and the metal inside the rim just sort of did that, didn't it? And the sharp bits of it, as it's they've tried to move the car on and off trailers and stuff, it's obviously scratched all the caliper up. But we're going to be sending them off to get refurbished. They literally get sh stripped down completely. These squash plates are all getting replaced. So you see how they come away from the metal, uh, from the caliper with a gap. Um, Dean was just saying to me then, it's like a reaction that the aluminium and the steel has, or the iron, whatever it is. So, that so all everything gone. gets stripped down and replaced, yeah? Um, mm -hmm. Repainted, all that kind of stuff. New pistons if they need it, new seals. 220 quid? 220? Just for, for a full refurb? For a set of for calipers, both, yeah. for both. That's good, that, isn't it? Basically, yeah. So Dean, at VBT, has kindly said that he'll help us out with some brakes for that, for track brakes, you know, yeah. like high performance So we're putting brakes. the brand new discs on the track car? Yes. Yeah. Right, okay. And these are the ones, yeah? Yeah, so this is a 362mm AP racing disc. So they're built to withstand pretty much anything you can throw at it. Um, obviously we put our custom bell with that as well um, to make it a direct replacement. Obviously the key thing is, is going to be pads and I think for this Right. Nicely going with the Mintex 1155. Okay. See how we get on that and yeah. see how far we yeah. need to go. Right, so how much are we looking at there? Disc with, if you've got a fitting kit and obviously the bell as a direct replacement, it's just over a thousand pound. So it's not a million miles away, but what you are getting is a lightweight disc. Yeah. Obviously from AP Racing as well. Um, standard pads, again, they're, they're, they're getting into selling money, they're over 300 pound plus fat from the dealer. Something like a Mintex 1155, which is a really, really well, uh, well-rounded pad, and um, they're coming out around 175 plus to that. So it's quite a bit of difference. Yeah, so nearly half the price for a yeah. much better yeah. pad. That's that's amazing. Needs doing so. Well, yeah. So you know, two grand. Are you happy with that? It's going to have to be, isn't it? So we've generated a car vertical report, yeah. which is um, basically just checks the history of the car and tells you if it's been in a crash, if there's any finance owed on it you know, if it's got a mileage discrepancy and stuff like that. Basically, we've done a report on our car, on the Avant. Now, what's surprising about that was we did, we already knew it was accident damaged, we bought it accident damaged. But what's been interesting about the report that we've got is what we didn't know was that it's been, looks like it's been written off twice, there's a mileage discrepancy on it, and there's further accident damage on there that we actually had no idea about and all this information is on the car vertical report. So basically car vertical could save you time and money on a car before you've bought it but we've already bought this and we're doing a report after so we've done it the wrong way around really haven't we? Well we have but then it was cheap so yeah. regardless of, of what kind of state it was in it's or has right. been in we got the right money for it. So the interesting thing about car vertical is they get their information from absolutely loads of different databases car manufacturers databases, insurance companies databases, literally everywhere. So the, the information is really in depth, there's loads of it. So what you're trying to say is they get it from quite a few databases? Loads of different databases, did I say that? So what we found out is the car's basically 
been written off twice, and there's an, an odometer um, discrepancy. Yeah, there is, yeah. So it's not the best car up to now, is it? I mean, to be fair, you've been quite cool about it. If it was a 50 grand car and not a 5 grand car, you probably would have been a bit more upset. For the price of the report, it's definitely worth getting. Everyone knows on our channel, we love stuff cheap, right? I mean, yeah, everybody so, loves a bargain, but no more than this man. <laughs> so what if you got the report, went to see a car, and you know there's a discrepancy in the history of the car? Yeah. It's bargaining for a discount. You'd love that, wouldn't you? It's a discount. You'd absolutely love it. Everyone <laughs> loves a discount. Straight away, you'd be like, right, I want some money off because it's been written off and you're not told me. Exactly. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that exactly. Yeah. But yeah, thanks to Car Vertical. Cheers. Mm. Cheers, guys. Al is just taking the race off that box. Not in the best of conditions. I mean, it's a lot better than the one that we're taking off. Yeah, definitely. Because if you see the cutaways of the ones we're taking off, yeah. I mean, the lip on it's probably about as well. It's massive. They're knackered. Right, what's happening? Here? I don't what's know, happening? but I don't want to talk to. Come on, Patrick. Give us the bad news. I wouldn't recommend using these because of the corrosion. Because obviously it's been sat underneath the backing plate. You can see it's starting to lift. You know. It. So now we need new pads. I just don't what feel saying. comfortable putting these in. So we need new as a pads. Professional. As a professional. Kinell, why do we keep dealing with professionals? We have got a bigger problem. What? Patrick has just cleaned the discs up. Yeah. And they need skimming. So this is supposedly a skimming machine. Have you ever used one before? I've never used a skimming machine, mate. No. Do you want to have a go? <laughs> no, it's an expensive accident if I fuck that up. You need a new disc then, and they're like five, six hundred quid each, so no. Is it worth just putting new discs on that um, thing? Because you're going to skim these and they're going to be knackered, aren't they? Let's be honest. If you skim them, no. You reckon they'll be all right? I mean, they, they do it max, max thickness now, 34 mil. So it'd be a shame not to skim them and put them back on. Yeah, we're using them. We're using them. So how much, are we, how much are we saying? Do you want to put some herb in it? Mintex? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whatever's the cheapest. I can get cheaper than that. Like, I can get just standard direct replacement, but I'm just thinking it might be a good idea to put it in. Yeah, we'll try them out. Yeah, we'll go with that. We got it. Hold on a minute, how much are they? <laughs> We've had to say that off camera because we didn't want the shock. 270 plus that for the front pads. But they are Mintex, which is supposedly good. The, yeah, we'll yeah. Yeah. Get, you, yeah, get your wallet out. Yeah, 270 plus that they are. 270. 560 plus five. Nice. The £6.50. <laughs> Makes all the difference. So you pay the £6.50 yeah. and you're paying the £2.50. Oh, all the way around, mate. <laughs> Couple of bacon butts, isn't it? <laughs> one in there. And you've got one in there. So, four per corner. Eight yeah. pads. And that's why they're so expensive. Yeah. Who painted the calipers? The yellow ones. Not us. Not us. They were done, they were already done when we bought it. Painted all over the pins on the end. So obviously, ideally what you do is you take the pins out and paint them. So now, obviously, if I go and knock these pins out, it's just going to ruin the paint. It's so either going to chip the paint or that's if you don't want to come out at all. So talking to Pat, he said that the discs for the back are definitely fine, right? These discs right here? Yeah, 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 they're right. sound. Pads are um, But the pads are knackered. That means then we're getting away with the discs all round, but we need new pads. Okay. So we skimmed the front, yeah. all is well. No issues. No issues, finally. So they're getting put back yeah. on or back on, whatever. Yeah. He said the backs. What did we're he sound. say about the backs? They were fine. All right, yeah? Yeah, they were fine. All we need to do is get new pads. So they are a damn sight better than the old ones. Miles better, yeah. So they've been roughed up a little bit. Yeah. Just to take any of the rust and hitting off yeah. that was on it from outside. There's our 60 quid um, plus that pads. Caliper's been cleaned up with some um, cleaner. Yeah. And the wheel's good to go back on there. So if you was to see this for the first time, you'd say they're brand new. You would think they've come out, they've come yeah. out real good. But what um, what Pat was saying is they they basically were. It was just a top level like layer of of rust and a bit of pitting that was on it, um, and that's what he's obviously had to get rid of. So really, we've recycled the old discs. It's a shame to get new ones for it. Just for the sake of getting new ones? Definitely. Particularly when you can skim them. He said they were at 34 mil, so right. there was enough scope for him to skim and they're still well within tolerance, yeah. And there's the near side rear, just needs the caliper putting back together. Do you want to do that? Do I want to put the caliper back together? Maybe think, not. Okay. You think you can trust me with that? Yeah, it's That's only a couple a, of pins. It's a little bit knackered, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? 
There's the gaffer there. Definitely seen better days. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. nothing. That's what he does. Usual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he'll, he'll be saying that he's supervising or something like that. Still takes his quarter of a million a year out of the company. Do you know what? It's all right for some minute. Yeah. So this is the near side rear disc. Uh, well, what's left of it? Is there anything left with it? Uh, that, mate, that is shocking. That, isn't it? that is real bad. I cannot believe you've allowed your son to drive around in, a, in effectively a death trap. Right, we're not starting this again. People I'm just saying. I'm your dad. I'm just saying. You know. As I said in the GTR yeah. Stage 4 modification video, who would have a son like you? You're a dickhead. <laughs> Cheers, Pops. So Dean, who works for VBT, he's done us some new brake lines. I mean, how amazing do they look? I'm not a connoisseur of brake lines, but they do look pretty good. Carbon, yeah, carbon, finish. Oh yeah, yeah, carbon black. If you ever come for a job here, you can blag your way in, right? Because... Because <laughs> I blag my way in. <laughs> I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that, right? But um, if you ever come for a job, Awesome GTR, just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do it. Yeah. And then when it comes to down to doing a job, just turn around and you've got it on the screen there. You've got the IKEA instructions on the screen. Yeah, exactly. Here. So these came off the crash damage car, 15 mil spacers, and because now we, we make stuff look stanced because we're cool. Of course. Well, I, I'm. I don't. Are you? Cool? Well, this is your car. Yeah, of course. So all my cars look cool. Right. So here's one we prepared earlier. Yeah. Perfect. So we've been upstairs for literally 20 minutes and everything's gone wrong. To start with, this caliper is knackered. The seat, the piston seized, which would explain why, because your handbrake is the back brake, isn't it? Yep. You know, and that'll explain why you could still, it it hold, but you know a strong gust of wind, it'd push it down the road. Right. And uh, that's because the piston seized in the back caliper, it's knackered. So that needs a full refurb, new piston, seals, all that jazz. We've got an even bigger problem with the front caliper. So the pin won't come out. It will, they've and literally tried everything. They've even tried WD-40. You know the, the bit that we, it. nothing. They've sprayed, wiggled, they've tried to get from the back, from the front, tried everything to get that pin out. Apparently it's really common that they see in there. So now he's got another little thing he's gonna try. If not, he's got to drill it out. We're gonna put the red one on the, off, off the van. Yeah. Onto this, take this off, get this one refurbished. Dean the brake man. Nothing a man of your calibre can't sort out. Back in the organ, In the meantime, we're going to Ibiza with different coloured calipers. I'm not happy about that. Is it the right yellow? Is it the right yellow? Looks okay to me, isn't it? Smooth yellow. It's close that, isn't it? It's either that, it's either that or red, yeah. Right well, yeah. Here. Definitely closer than red. Right, get your paintbrush out then. Have we got one? So in true Evil GT style, man yes. of many talents, what we're doing yeah. here now. I love a bit of painting and decorating <laughs> us. Um, this doesn't actually look the same colour. See, look right. at that. Yeah, no, it doesn't look bang on. But it, it looks close actually, but then I am colour blind. Well, true, yellow's yellow to you. I've done that bit, here's yeah. one I did earlier. Look at it. Bang on that. Oh, mate. Just got to do this bit now. It's only perfect, but it'll have to do. Yeah, there you go. I mean, people are going to... People are not going to be happy about this. Whoa, by the way. hold on a minute, is that missing as well? Yeah, you need a little little touch up there. I mean, that's that's you're going to like make that look a bit better though. Yeah, and it's two coats. Painting and decorating face. You've got to stick your tongue out when you're painting, everyone does it. If you look at that now from about 20 foot away, <laughs> 30, 40 metres away. From there, if you just go like like that, you I mean, can't the, tell. Exactly, the thing with that is it's got a massive chip off. Patrick's just not been careful with it, have you? I'm making the, the, the best of a bad situation, that's what I did there. Uh, I'm getting you back on the road, <laughs> and that's what's the most important thing in, in my eyes. <laughs> you know what I mean? A bit heavy handed. Patrick the Butcher. <laughs> <laughs> the Pat Butcher. <laughs> Don't tell anyone else you know that. <laughs> that. That'll stick that. If Noddy had brake calipers. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually like that. <laughs> it's so big. Like the would... matte, it's the matte finish, it looks good. Oh, the matte finish looks good, but the red and yellow, <laughs> I'm not into that. I think we do need to just point out, though, to yeah. those who will be upset about us using, um, like, a paintbrush on calipers. Right, it's either that or the red. What do you want me to do? Well, it needs to be yellow and we don't have time to get them sent off and done properly. No. So this is take it or leave it. Not done this for a few years. 
Good plan to say there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As usual, it's not gone according to plan. But we got there in the end. Yeah, it's an evil TT video, mate. It's not supposed to go to plan, is it? No, and believe it or not, we don't want things to go wrong. Well, they just always do. Yeah. So the caliper at the back now is painted up. It looks okay. We'll get them there, refurbished, like you said. Yeah. The front one. The one on the side where you touched it up a bit. Yeah, because Patrick couldn't get the things out. He had to knock him out. He thought about drilling. It all went wrong. Yeah, that's touched up. It's fine. Yeah, yeah it looks. It's it looks right. fine. We're gonna. Well, everything will get done properly. It's the fact that we've got like two or three days to get this car ready for the cannon run. We haven't got time to start sending you know yeah. calipers off to be refurbished properly and stuff. So we've made the best of what we have. The spaces look good. The wheels look good. The offset now. Yeah, it's just under the arch. We'll have to see if we get rub. Oh, you will. We'll probably get rub. We probably will. So we can take the uh, we can take the spaces off if it's worst case scenario. Easy peasy job that. We should be good. We should be all right. So yeah, wish us luck yeah, yeah. on the cannon run. This is the last it. video now before we go, isn't it? With this car, yeah. Yeah. We might do something else. But yeah, thanks for watching, and see you on the way in this car on the way to Ibiza. Ciao. See ya.